One of your uh, classmates was Barack Obama at, at law school. You guys yes. became friends. You actually yep. went on the campaign trail for him yes. and had an experience in your home state of Iowa. You went back to campaign mm -hmm. for President Obama and you had a very emotional experience there. Yeah, well, my grandparents had a farm in Iowa and I would get up in the morning. My, my, my grandfather would help. There was a prison. It's, it's a small town called Fort Madison, Iowa. And there's a prison in Fort Madison. And a lot of people that would come out of prison, he would bring to the farm and give them jobs and try to help them transition. And I'd wake up every morning and see different guys and, you know, whatever. And I was back in Iowa campaigning for, for, for our president. And, uh, and this 80-year-old man came up to me and said, I wanted to come out and say hello to you. And I said, why? He said, do you remember uh, when you were a little kid, I used to have breakfast with you. I was one of those guys your grandfather took in from the prison. Oh my and gosh. I, your family changed my life. And, and, and it brought me to tears, it really yeah. did, because it shows how, you know, Dr. King said we're all tied together in a single garment of mutual destiny, and we're all connected. We all have to figure out different ways to help and support each other. And you can change the trajectory of one person's life and not even know it, and it's really amazing. Yeah, simply by saying, them there are, yeah. saying to them there are values yeah. and offering them breakfast.